Hey guys, welcome back to Clockwise Crypto. Hope you guys move forward in everything that you do. Looking at the markets, Bitcoin falling off a cliff, pulling back, causing panic. Let's see what's going on here. So Bitcoin is uh, currently sitting at about $92,500. And with that price point, we see on the crypto fear greed meter that there is a ton of fear going on. The uh, Everyone's freaking out right and so it happens every time there's a pullback nothing goes up forever as we've said before um you know it would it would not be a healthy market it would not be a sustainable market if everything went up forever now when you look at healthy markets you'll see on uptrends it goes in a ladder so it goes up pulls back a little bit goes higher higher highs and higher lows right basic uh technical analysis that's what we're seeing here we're seeing a pullback if you go to the daily you'll see a little bit more right and like I said, the area is so far down, that would be a concern point for us. It really, it's almost like a non-event. So uh, the price point for us to be concerned would be all the way down to 66,700, right? I don't think there's a scenario we reach that far. Um, 80,000 could be in play, <clears throat> but uh, even 73, but 80,000 would be fair. That would be a decent pullback given all the momentum that we've had so far. So fear greed index we see here is at 80. So that extreme greed is going away, right? And it's going to go away with the pullback. Now that pullback is going to present opportunity. We're seeing it already in altcoins. But the caveat to this is President-elect Donald Trump has the opportunity to bring us the biggest bull run in history. So everyone can understand the opportunity in front of us. You understand that you must take advantage of the opportunity in the lifetime of the opportunity. That opportunity is right here. Take a look at this. So if we dive right into right into this and we see, uh, you know, this this tweet that I was able to to see and I completely agree. Right here, we're saying Trump is one of the biggest, you know, could start one of the biggest bull runs in history of crypto. Right. Here's why. He's saying Trump will take office in January. We'll likely establish a strategic Bitcoin reserve. So we used to be backed by gold, which ended up being backed by nothing. Now we're going back to having a reserve and pretty much all that Bitcoin that the Department of Justice has could be used as a Bitcoin reserve. Right. So establishing that combined with SEC Chairman Gary Gensler resigning January 20th will end Operation Choke Point, which is pretty much the SEC attacking crypto and making it <laughs> very difficult for crypto to be embraced in the largest, most powerful country in the world, which is the United States at this time. That will end. Replacing his position with a pro-crypto SEC chairman that will embrace and work alongside crypto projects such as XRP, such as Cardano, and establish some type of regulatory clarity. That could lead to ETF approvals for Solana, XRP, and Litecoin in 2025. When this happens, he's saying here, full-blown alt season will kick it, will kick in and will unleash mind-blowing gains that most people can't even fathom, which is aligned with what I've been telling you guys. We're going to see a bull run like we've never seen before. So all the price points that we're used to, like everyone's saying like five to seven, like I'm saying five to seven dollars Cardano. A 15 to 20 dollar Cardano could happen. Right. And not even be in, you know, we can't even fathom because of all the momentum that's going to come when this happens January 20th. So I think we'll have a pullback. I think there will be a pullback until then. I think, you know, pretty much it'll be all the way January 20th. Boom. And we're going to see massive gains. So I know a lot of people have said it's too late. Your time's too late. No, guys, you're not. You're, you have time. So the guy's not even in office yet. That's how you know you have time. OK, we're looking at crypto bubbles. We see all the red. This red is opportunity. And the red is opportunity. And I, you know, we, we put, said this on X earlier. Most people are going to see this and get FUD, right? Fear, uncertainty, and doubt versus looking at the red and seeing opportunity. There's still opportunity there. Yes, some projects have mooned, 
projects that have been seen been deemed as being dead have rose from the ashes right now everything's pulling back right and all coin scenes is going to be here primed with aligned with the u.s election right or the u.s uh you know a change in presidency not the election election is over but a change in presidency with someone that's pro crypto that has a crypto holding right and we've seen that transition we've seen that transition from so you know president trump saying oh he's not really for crypto don't really know you know to saying no i love crypto let's be the best of crypto in the united states we're seeing that so with that being said and everything you know the stars are aligning there is opportunity right here and you know with all that happening i truly believe what we talked about in this last sentence here from from uh, lark davis that when all this happens a full-blown alt season will kick in and it will unleash mind-blowing gains that most people can't even fathom that's coming that's coming so our our little predictions right like you like our little predictions are going to be child's play in comparison to what's coming because of the momentum that's going to push and the amount of money that's going to push into these markets and just like like i said this before i said this the other day it's almost as if you just gotta get on a project that's going to be around right and i shared i shared my my telcoin experience right i just bought telcoin because i believed in the project didn't really do well didn't really do a lot of marketing did a couple of interviews but nothing crazy right and you know then they fell off but they just stuck around through the bull run they just stuck around the projects just stayed around and they killed it okay 100x i think maybe 50 to 100x like no problem they killed it so it's it's almost like all you have to do is get some exposure so you know i saw a guy a guy I grew up with a uh, old friend of mine in in starbucks and he, he watches his channel and he said he has some exposure and that's what you need some exposure i said look it doesn't even you don't even have to be like 90 percent like me like <laughs> like real estate and crypto you don't have to be like that all right so just some exposure is going to have a crazy impact because when that mind those mind-blowing gains happen and you have a little bit exposure potentially you can you know have enough get enough gains that is life-changing forever forever so definitely wanted to highlight that guys use this as an opportunity see it as an opportunity do not see it as it's over do not see it as oh my goodness you know you're gonna see that do not do not go there use it as an opportunity to accumulate using as an opportunity to see the potential see where these projects are we'll dive into it how to find it in the next video see where these projects have been see where they are right and what we do is we look at the spread of the path to the all-time high at least the all-time high of course we wanted to go higher but at least what's the gap between where we're at now where's the all-time high and you know what is the project doing are they just sitting back waiting are they still building are they still engaging are they still you know what's the community behind them and we'll dive through all that to kind of lay the framework of what we what we've done to really pick the cardanos when everyone's saying no to cardano not everyone but 90 99 percent people are saying no to cardano what we do with xrp when the same thing people are saying xrp like how are we finding those projects we're going to answer that we're going to answer that question for you we're going to answer how we have picked these projects that have, have been deemed dead and what characteristics did those projects have for us to duplicate that process for the future to continue to pick quality projects that are going to make a long lasting impact guys so definitely hope you guys got some value out of this video keep moving forward in everything that you do we'll see you soon